Technique Tuesday. Let's get after it. Today I have a pretty special technique here that, that goes overlooked, I think, sometimes. And so the, the thing behind this technique is I think it's really important. Some of the best top guys in, in college wrestling and the guys who you think are the best turners also really want to emphasize that lifting returns are so important. I think that some of the biggest matches in college wrestling, high school wrestling, come down to can you mat return the guy or can you get out when you're on your feet. So I think this mat return that I'm going to show is just really important as you get to higher levels. And, you know, I, I've seen it firsthand and, and really tough guys have, have told me that, you know, it's really important. So the lift and return that I'm going to do is traditional lock right here. We go butterfly lock is what we call it, right? Basically, I want to put this guy in a little bit of pain. I don't want him to be able to go full strength fighting my hands. I'm going to put him in a little pain. So I'm going to squeeze my grip and pinch my elbows. Squeeze and pinch. He should be able to feel that a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my step out to the side. Notice my lock never shifts. One big problem that guys make is they come out to the side and lock shifts. I don't have as much power when I'm lifting and returning it. Again, butterfly lock. I'm squeezing, pinching my elbows. Out to the side, my lock never shifts. I'm gonna go hips in. I'm gonna try to get under the shoulder and pop here. When I'm up, I wanna kind of rotate because I don't want this foot to hit first. If this foot hits first, you know, some of the more flexible guys, more scramble type guys can go stand and grab it. So, Again, butterfly lock, I'm pinching, my elbows are down. 